Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, purple uh, triangle uh, ABC leaning against uh, these uh, given uh, squares, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, green uh, square is uh, 36 uh, square units. The area of this uh, blue square is uh, 9 square unit. And finally, the area of this uh, yellow square is uh, 4 square units. And moreover, this purple triangle is an equilateral triangle since all these side lengths are equal. And now our task is to calculate the area of this purple triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with these three squares. So therefore, we are going to find out the side lengths uh, of these uh, squares uh, now. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S uh, square, where uh, S represents the side length uh, of the square. So let's focus on this uh, green uh, square whose uh, area is uh, 36 uh, equals to, I'm going to write down S uh, square. Let me go ahead and uh, undo this uh, square by taking a square root. So therefore, our s value turns out to be positive 6. So that means all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, green square are going to be 6 uh, units uh, across uh, the board. And now let's focus on this uh, blue square whose area is uh, 9. So I can write uh, 9 equal to s square. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square. So therefore, our uh, side length for this uh, square is going to be positive 3. So therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, blue square turns out to be 3 across the board. And finally, let's focus on this uh, yellow square whose area is uh, 4. So I can write 4 equal to S uh, square. And likewise, we're going to take uh, the square root uh, on both sides to undo this square. So therefore our side length uh, turns out to be 2 units. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 2 across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that these points B and D are the point uh, of contact. So therefore I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, B such that we get uh, this uh, right triangle uh, B E D. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, B E D once again. And we can see that its uh, side length uh, B E is going to be 2 plus uh, this uh, 3 that is going to make uh, 5 units. And likewise uh, this uh, side length uh, E D is going to be, we know the whole uh, length is uh, 6 and this uh, tiny length is uh, 2. 6 minus uh, 2 is going to give us 4 uh, units. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out uh, this uh, side length uh, BD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 4. So it's going to become 4 square plus b in our case is 5 whole square equal to c square. So therefore c square value turns out to be 41. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our c value turns out to be square root of uh, 41. So therefore we can see that our this uh, bd length uh, is going to be square root of 41 units. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, some of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, DFA. Let's assume that this angle uh, is uh, alpha. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And since uh, this uh, angle is 90 degrees uh, 
and this angle is beta so therefore this angle has got to be angle alpha and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BED we know that this angle is 90 degrees this angle is alpha so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, DFA and this other right triangle uh, BED are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, this uh, BD divided by this uh, BE let me go ahead and write down uh, BD divided by BE is going to be equal to this another ratio DA divided by DF let me go ahead and write down uh, DA divided by DF and now we know our value for BD is uh, square root of uh, 41 our BE value is uh, 5 and our DF uh, value is uh, 6 so therefore let me go ahead and substitute we got uh, square root of 41 divided by 5 equals to da divided by 6 now let me go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 6 and we can see this 6 and 6 is uh, gone so therefore our da value turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 41 divided by 5 so thus our this uh, da length uh, turns out to be 6 times square root of 41 divided by 5 units and now let's go ahead and calculate this whole uh, side length of this purple triangle uh, AB length and this whole length is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two individual lengths uh, BD and this uh, length uh, AD as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore let's go ahead and uh, substitute uh, these values so our AD length uh, is uh, 6 times uh, square root of uh, 41 uh, divided by 5 plus our BD length uh, is uh, square root of uh, 41 and now we can write the square root of 41 as uh, by multiplying and dividing by 5 to make sure we have the same uh, denominator so therefore if we add the right hand side our AB length turns out to be 11 times the square root of 41 divided by 5 units so thus our this AB length turns out to be 11 times square root of 41 divided by 5 and we know that our this purple triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle so therefore all its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, going to be same 11 times square root of 41 divided by 5 units and now let's recall uh, a crucial fact angles of an equilateral triangles are uh, 60 degrees each so therefore all three angles of this uh, purple equilateral triangle are going to be 60 degrees each and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle uh, C as you can see in this uh, triangle our sides are A and B and this angle uh, C is uh, in between them so therefore in our case uh, these are our uh, side lengths A and B and this angle is C in between them so let's go ahead and calculate the area so area equals to a half times our A value is 11 times the square root of 41 divided by 5 times likewise our B value is same 11 times the square root of 41 divided by 5 times our sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees 
and now we know that our uh, sine of 60 degrees value is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this one by square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 and uh, this uh, times this is going to give us uh, power 2 and in this uh, next step uh, the square of this uh, 11 times uh, square root of 41 divided by 5 is same as 49 61 divided by 25 and if we multiply everything we are going to get uh, 4961 times square root of 3 divided by 100. So if we simplify this thing furthermore our this area of this uh, purple triangle is going to be approximately equal to 85.93 square units. And here's an alternative method instead of using uh, this uh, formula we could have uh, used uh, this area of an equilateral uh, triangle formula area equals to square root of 3 times uh, a square divided by 4 where our this uh, a value is 11 times square root of 41 divided by 5. So thus the area of this uh, purple triangle turns out to be 85.93 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.